Hey everybody, it's Greg Ryder coming at you. Hope everyone's getting ready for a great Christmas weekend coming up. Um, I showed a video about a animated 3D coffee mug for print on demand and how I did it. Somebody asked how I did it. So I'm like, I'm just going to do a Facebook live and record what I do and show you how I do it. So let me go ahead and, and get this thing going on here. So here's my screen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go full screen. So watch this up. So I'm logged in to launch cart. I'm in the dashboard and I'm going to hit create new and I'm going to go print on demand products. I'm going to go home and living and I'm going to go to mugs and I like this mug with the color inside. So I'm going to choose that mug and it's going to come up and what we're going to do is let's pick a design. We'll hit choose our artwork. We'll put this one on one side. I'm going to shrink that a little bit and we're going to move that to this, this side right there. And then I'm going to do another file. And we're going to put the Never Alone logo on the flip side of this coffee mug. And let's see, we'll move that right about there. Okay, so now when I go to mock-up view, you're going to see that we have the Never Alone on one side. And we have the Emmanuel Kelly on the other side. And I'm going to go with blue. So I'm going to go back over here to product. And I'm going to choose the blue and uncheck the red, at least for this, this, this what I'm demonstrating here. So I'll go back to the mock-up view. And you'll see that we have the blue now, and I kind of got the blue to match that, right? So I wanted the blue there and the blue there. So we got this. That's what's going on. So that's what we're going to do. But now we're going to go to this 3D view. And so now the 3D view brings it up over here. And you can see as I turn it, I can tilt it. I can show it upside down. And so what I want to do is I want to record a video of that, right? So I'm, first I'm going to get it right where I want it to start my video. And then I'm going to remember that I want my mouse and cursor up here so I can get it out of the video. And I can kind of turn it and do it. And then I can end right there, right? So we'll get it right where I want to start. Now, what I use is I use Camtasia. So I have Camtasia, and I'm just going to hit New Recording. And then Camtasia is going to bring up my little recording screen. And then I'm going to go a custom, custom area. And the custom area is going to be right here. So I'm going to just take this. Now, what I want to do is I want this to be a square video. So it'll really work good on Instagram and Facebook and advertising. So you can see here, 345 by 274. So I'm going to go, uh, let's see here. Now it's not letting me change my thing because it's, it's, it's thinking I want to do the, it's thinking I want to do the, uh, here, let me get out of this mode. I got to I gotta get out of that mode just for a second. So I want to get this the right size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, we're going to go 375 pixels by 375 pixels. 375. So now I got a 375 by 375 square. Now when I go back to my 3D render and I move my little recording window, it's going to have that little line on it. So I want to, actually, I want to go to like the 360. 360 by 360 and then I'm going to get that little square. I want to get, oh, see now it's not going to let me move it again. So I got to switch back. I need to move this over just right about there and then go 3D view again. Now I've got this box kind of right where I want it, right? So then I'm going to get that started right where I want it. Now I'm going to hit, now I'm going to turn off the microphone because I don't need any sound. So do not record microphone. Uh, don't record system audio. So I'm going to hit record. Three, two, one. Boom. Stop. And then I literally have, it's going to pop me into Camtasia. And I have that video that I can render. Uh, and I could have went longer, but 11 seconds is a little scroll stopper. Um, so, so now it's bringing me in here. And then I can just, and then I have to render it. And then if I wanted to, I could add my logo. I could add different color schemes. I could add some text along the top, uh, whatever I wanted to do. But here, let's just play it real quick.
And eventually we're gonna make it so you can add a video on your product page for launch card. So now what I'm gonna to do too, is I'm gonna cut off that first few seconds of nothing. Cause I want this thing to start spinning the second it loads. So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm going to split all, I'm gonna cut that section out. Boom, slide this over and just test my stuff. Starts moving. Boom, and we'll stop it right there. And then if I wanted to, which I think I do with this, I can just copy that and paste it and it kind of go into a loop, right? So now it's going to loop twice. So now we're, and I'm going to loop it one more time. Uh, and I'll just put this down here and boom. Now I've got it to where it's going to, it's going to loop three times and, and play. And you can see it's a square image. So it'll work on a lot of different formats and it'll just keep spinning and looping for people. And again, I can change that transitions and I'm not a very good video editor, but I just think this is a great way to sell coffee mugs and to get people's attention to show them what's going on and putting that kind of stuff on the product page and stuff should help as well. So with that, I want to see if anyone has any questions uh, or any thoughts that you want to, that you want to do. I'm not sure who that is, but somebody said, hello, Greg. Hey, Hey man. So if you are watching this video, I think in above the post, it says allow StreamYard uh, to use your name and then it'll show your picture and your name. So I know who you are, but if you got any questions, go ahead and post them underneath. And I'll, I'll stand and answer them for a second. Otherwise, I'll, I'll come back and answer them. But I wanted to kind of show you guys that because that these are the kind of things that when you start to do stuff like that, it helps you make more sales, right? And it's a cool little tool that Printful has. And it's like you need to have the software to record it. And I was even thinking that uh, maybe maybe we, 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 we offer this as a service, say, for five bucks, we'll create you a little video or something. I don't know. Uh, Cause I have the software, the software Camtasia, I've had it for years and years and years and used it for years and years and years. Um, and there's probably other software programs you could use, maybe any type of screen capture. You might even be able to use Loom. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like with Loom video, by the way, if, if you ever have support issues or you need issues, if you get Loom, it's free and you make a Loom video, post it in the group. It's so easy to get help. Uh, but maybe you could even use Loom um, to do the same thing. I wonder if you can, let me, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. I might go back. Yeah, somebody's asking me, do you have to use Camtasia? You don't have to. You just need to do something that will that will record your screen, and then and then you have to be able to crop it right to that area. I'm going to try to do Zoom real quick. So if I go to Zoom and I go screen only, start recording. I want to do this screen. See, now Loom is recording this screen right here. So I'd have to go like this and show people that and then get it and then stop the Loom recording. And you guys can see over here, the Loom recording came in and it's here. See, now Loom is recording this screen right here. See, so Loom's there. So now how do I, so then I'd have to, you know, I'd have to, I'd bring this into Camtasia and crop it in Tam Camtasia. I don't know how, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a video editor, but maybe there's some other people in the group that are video editors that, that can suggest, and maybe you could take it into Canva and put it into Canva. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's how I do it. And I know people wanted to know how I was doing it and what I did. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys and hopefully you guys can use it and, and get it done. And if you want to have it done, let me know because uh, my daughter, Candace, uh, she's she's a good video editor and she could maybe make a few extra dollars making making them for you. <laughs> so um, if you really want something and you don't have the ability to do it, let us know. Post a comment below and we'll help to see if we can help you get it done. There's been all kinds of updates. Matter of fact, I'm going to start another live because I want to cut this video off and have this video be all about that. So I'm going to end this video and say, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you enjoy your holidays. And we got great, I mean, incredible news coming out in launch cart. I'm going to do another live and I'm going to talk about some updates that just got pushed out and kind of what's coming up next. So I'll hit another live and look for that coming any minute now.